Hey YouTubers, today I'm going to show you how to install MySQL Server on a Mac. So open up your favorite web browser and search for MySQL Server and hit enter. Here's exactly what we're looking for, so let's click downloads. And come down here where it says MySQL Community Downloads and click there. And again, find MySQL Community Server, click there. And now we're presented with two different installers here. This one here is for an Apple CPU. And this one down here is for an Intel CPU. If you don't know which CPU your Mac has, you can just come up here to this Apple menu, bring down the menu and hit about this Mac. And here it should tell you, I have an Apple CPU. So given that, I'm gonna download this one. No, thank you. And sure. All right, now that we've downloaded MySQL, let's open it up. And double click this. Let me drag this over. Okay, allow. Continue, hit continue. To continue installing this software, you must agree to it. I agree. Continue, install. Enter your password and install software. All right, now you gotta enter a password for your root user. And hit finish. Type in your password again, I guess. Hit OK. All right, and close that. Okay, now let's check that we can run MySQL from the terminal. Let's open up the terminal and just type in here MySQL. So we cannot find it, so that means the path is not set. So let's set the path. Um, to do so, you need to check what kind of shell your terminal program is using. And you can see here, mine is using a Z shell. So with that, I'm gonna type in vi.zs and I hit tab. And it's that RC file we're looking for. So enter, go in there. In the last line, you wanna enter export path in all caps equals double quotes user local mysql bin and then you want to append the path oops there we go and then end with double quotes and then hit colon wq to save and quit hit enter and now we want to source the file so dot v vhrc and now we should be able to access mysql from any directory so let's try it mysql dash dash version and there we go now we know mysql is installed and we can access it from any directory in the terminal before we wrap up let's make sure that we can get into mysql so let's type in mysql-u root-p and hit enter. Now you wanna enter the password that you entered during the installation. So let me do that. And there you go, we're in. Let me exit out. And that's it for today's video. If you found this helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on new content. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.